Hi, I'm Amy Hannon and nothing thrills me more than people and food. I'm a preacher's wife, a mom of three, and I own my own specialty kitchen store. I've kept an open door and a well-stocked fridge, which means I have fed a lot of mouths over the years. So welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking Today. Hi, welcome to my kitchen today. I'm so glad that you're here with me. We're making salmon in the kitchen. This is so easy. Y'all are going to love this. It is light. It is healthy. It is super good for you. And it is just something that cooks so fast you're not even going to believe it, like lightning fast. Salmon is something that I make easily on a school night or after a long work day. I make it after church on Sundays when we just need to come home and make something really, really quickly and I don't have time to measure a lot and wait a lot and sear and braise and wait all afternoon. This is something you can make really, really quickly. Another thing I love about salmon is that you can serve it with a really good fresh arugula salad like I'm making today. Or my family really loves it with like a yummy homemade, like, a, like an Alfredo pasta. You can do it with rice, you can do it with risotto, all kinds of things. So this is a really great piece of meat to learn how to cook. And it's really simple and really easy. And I'm gonna make an awesome rub for you today that you're gonna really, really like. And it starts with oregano and it has some sesame seed. It's a little sweet from some brown sugar, has a little bit of salt, a little bit of cumin, some really interesting flavors that really season that salmon. Great, and we really will eat every single bite of it. It's delicious. So today, I'm actually gonna start with our rub. So we're gonna start with oregano. A lot of this you probably have at home. I actually had to go and buy the, the um, sesame seed. I don't always have those, but now that I do, I use them in all kinds of things. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple of teaspoons of oregano. Teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons. That's kind of up to you. Depends on how much you like that herby flavor in there. I really like it because it's green. And then we're gonna do teaspoon. I'm gonna do about a, a heaping teaspoon of sesame seeds. I'm gonna throw in a little bit more. I love that little flavor. It's a little bit nutty. I love that flavor. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of cumin. These are kind of the surprise ingredients that I think you're gonna really like the way that they flavor this meat. Okay, teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of salt always. I'm just gonna grab it with my hands. And then we're gonna put a little bit of red pepper flakes in here. Uh, we, we have grown to love red pepper flakes. It used to scare me to death when I was younger and I would eat it at like the pizza place. I was terrified of it. And then all of a sudden, you know, I get married and my husband puts it on everything in the world. I mean, everything in the world. And I have started to kind of grow to love it. I have another recipe for these crackers that have red pepper flakes all over it. I'm going to make those for you soon. But I've, I've really started to like it. So this is a little, little tiny bit in here that I like. I'm going to probably say that's about a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe a half a teaspoon. And again, that's up to you. If you want it a little bit hotter, you can absolutely put it in there. Okay, and then I'm also going to put a little bit of brown sugar because I like a little bit of sweet on my salmon. My husband does too. We like the way that when you skillet fry something that's got a little bit of um, sugar in it, it gets that good kind of that crust and it kind of caramelizes a little bit. And so the brown sugar will actually offer that and get that, get that flavor in here. So let's do... I'll do like two, let's do three teaspoons of that. How's that? So we've got this pretty little rub that we're gonna mix together and put on our salmon. My oven is preheating to 375. So what we're gonna do with this salmon is we're gonna crisp it in the um, cast iron skillet real quick with a little bit of oil. And then we're gonna put it on a baking sheet and let it finish baking in the oven so that it cooks all the way through and gets really, really nice. It's so tender and flaky. And we're gonna let it do its thing in the oven. So I'm going to mix this together just with the back of my teaspoon, break up my clumps of brown sugar. That looks good. Okay, so we're going to just set that aside. That is ready to go. 
So what we have are two salmon fillets. You can do as many as you would like. If you wanted to double this and cook it for a family of like four or five, maybe six, you would just want to double up your um, rub recipe. So you just want to, you know, make sure you have plenty to cover the salmon. So I just actually went to Hearts and went to the butcher section. And they have this beautiful fresh salmon and a wonderful big long beautiful story about where it's made and how it's farmed and they're so proud and they have such a great meat selection there and the men in there are so helpful they will just cut this down to exactly what size that you need I know that some people love to cook their salmon with the skin on and that is just absolutely fine if you're that person but I actually don't love the skin on it so those nice folks at Harps cut me exactly what I wanted which was two eight ounce salmon fillets and I even asked him to take the skin off for me and they took that big knife back there and got it all cleaned up and gave it to me just like this so we have these two salmon fillets our oven is ready oh they're so pretty now let me tell you a little bit about salmon you know we live in Arkansas so we're not anywhere near an ocean so we know that this salmon's got to get here get here to us somehow right well what you want to do when you're buying fish anywhere really is to be sure that it doesn't smell really fishy. If it smells really, really fishy, then it's probably not very fresh. So you really wanna avoid that. And then specifically with salmon, you wanna be sure, yeah, that's really good. Can you see this? When you press on it, it's firm. It doesn't mush. If it were to mush, then you would not wanna eat it. It means that it's not good and fresh, but this is a nice, firm filet. And it smells really good, it just smells like regular fish, nothing too scary. And so we've got our salmon ready. We're gonna dress it and rub it down and we're gonna stick it in our skillet when we come back. This is Cooking Today. Ice Tea, brought to you by Lipton. If you're just joining us, we're making salmon today with the most delicious sesame and cumin and oregano, a little bit of brown sugar with a rub that we're putting on it and we're gonna cook it real quickly in our skillet. Let me turn it on real quick. I've got my good cast iron skillet that I trust and use. And I have it on about medium plus, not high, high, like if we were to sear a steak or another piece of meat, but we have it on medium, medium plus a little bit, like around maybe like a six or seven if you've got it on your, um, on your dial. And so we're going to let that get hot. Our oven is set at 375, and we're going to just sear these and then bake them off for just a few minutes just to kind of get that good temperature on the inside just like we like it so that it's nice and flaky. And then we're just going to put this rub on the salmon. So we've got our six-ounce fillets that I've had the skin removed. And let's – I do a little bit of this dry rub on the top first. I'm going to tell you why I said first, because there's a second in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to do this first. And I'm just going to pat that in to this meat. And remember what I said about the meat being nice and firm? You can really tell that it's springy and fresh and feels really, really nice. Okay, so I'm doing this first. Then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm keeping one hand clean and one hand dirty. And then I'm going to put a little bit on this underneath side. Not as much as I did on the top. We wanted to have a little tiny bit of flavor, but I'm going to save about a third of my rub because I'm going to go back over to the other side and put it on again. Okay, so we're going to do just a little bit so that the bottom has some flavor. Now I'm going back to the top. We've pressed this in. And I'm actually going to do a little tiny bit of oil on these. And then I'm going to put the last little bit of my rub. So we almost have rub in layers. Rub first, a little oil, and then more rub. Oh, this rub smells so good. We just love this recipe. And you know what? My kids did not love fish when they, were, when they were younger, but they have really, now that they're teenagers, they have really grown to love it. So we make it quite a bit. My daughter, Grace, really, really loves the salmon. She actually asks for it when she comes home. Of course, you know, that's the way to get college students home, right, is to feed them, tell them you're making their favorite dish. They'll come running and they'll bring their friends, so you need to be ready. 
Okay, so we've done a little rub, a little oil, and a little more rub. And now I'm gonna coat it. This is where I'm not gonna be sparse with it. I'm gonna really lay it on there. Let's just scoop it. We'll just scoop it in there. This is gonna make a good, good crust. Mmm, so good. Okay, I'm gonna set that there. And I'm gonna just finish rubbing this in. Get all the way down to all the corners. So you're sure to cover every bit. And our skillet should be hot and ready to go. And we are gonna put a little bit more oil down in the bottom of our skillet. Now you want just enough to cover it, but not enough that you're gonna, you know, fry it. You, want, you don't want an inch of it or in there. You just want enough to cover the bottom. So let me put that in this hot skillet. Just a good drizzle. Yeah, that looks good. And then we're gonna move over here and put this in the skillet. And I'm gonna let that oil kind of meet in the middle. You know, when you swirl the oil, it will actually kind of cover all around the outsides and then it kind of finds itself and meets in the middle. So if you kind of wondered why um, you'll see people on television cooking shows, they'll swirl that oil instead of just pour it right in the middle. If you pour it right in the middle, it just doesn't really know where to go. Give it a good swirl and it locates itself and kind of finds itself and covers the bottom. See, look, we're covered. Okay, here we go. We're gonna stick this salmon. Mm, there's that sizzle. And again, we have our oven mm, on 375. And we're just gonna let this cook for just a few minutes. And I actually can start making our mm, dressing, our homemade dressing for our arugula salad. And again, we like this with um, pasta. It's delicious with pasta. So if you have some, you know, quick pasta that you can make with like a cream sauce, then do that too. But we're trying to lighten up just a little bit. You know, we have a lot of cream and butter around here. I'm sure you have uh, figured that out by now. We love it. But sometimes we just want something a little bit lighter. I made this a lot of times when I've had girlfriends come over for like just a girl's night. It's a great girly dish as well. Lots of good flavor. And so I'm actually gonna start our dressing. It's a homemade apple ginger vinaigrette for a pear and gorgonzola salad. It's delicious. You just wait till you taste all those flavors. We'll get after that when we come back. This is cooking today. Okay, we're back and I have actually flipped our salmon while you were away. It's got this beautiful color on it and it is smelling so, so good like hungry good, like the kind that makes your stomach growl, that kind. It is beautiful, it is sizzling away. I actually don't need to do anything else to this. I'm going to take this whole skillet and put the whole entire skillet into the oven. That's the beauty of cast iron, is that it goes from stove top to oven. So I am actually going to put this, oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the oven and it's actually gonna bake for just about maybe three or four minutes, maybe five at the most. You just want it to be cooked just through and then when it rests, it will actually continue to cook itself through a little bit more. Um, but you really want it to be tender and flaky and not dried out at all. And you know, sometimes salmon has some like weird little looking color and some things like that on the inside. It is beautiful and you can eat it and it is so good. So don't, don't worry a bit. Okay, we're gonna make our salad. And what we've started with is a couple of tablespoons of apple jelly that I actually have let sit at room temperature so that it's a little bit soft. It's not, you know, congealed like jelly. It's a little bit softer. You can also stick this in the microwave for just a minute, you know, not a minute, like a second or two, just to, you know, liquefy it just a little. Okay, this dressing, oh, this is drink it with a straw dressing. Okay, apple jelly. Sorry, I licked my fingers right there on TV. Um, okay, apple jelly and a couple of tablespoons of good honey. And we're gonna whisk this a little bit. It's thick, but we're about to add the rice wine vinegar. You could also use apple cider vinegar. It's a little bit easier to find, but I'm telling you, rice wine vinegar is good. It is new to me in my world. And there is a flavor in that. Oh. I would act like I really know what that flavor is and try to tell you, but I really don't even know what it is. It is just rice wine vinegar and it is good stuff. Okay, so we're whisking. We're whisking together our apple jelly, our honey, and our rice wine vinegar. 
And you can get these full recipes on our Facebook page. And on nwahomepage.com. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then add a little shake of ginger. Isn't that kind of a surprise? Mmm. A little shake of ginger. And get that going really well. So this is kind of our base. So we've made our base. And then we're going to whisk like crazy when we add our oil. We're going to add a little pinch of salt. Little pinch of pepper. Not much. You know, there are some dressings that you really want to see the pepper in it, but this is not really one of them. You just kind of want to get a little taste of it. Okay. There's that. And then I'm actually going to cut a little bit of a shallot. You don't have to do a ton of shallot. I really love shallots. I use them a lot around here. They are, I always say they're like the little baby cousin to an onion. They are not very strong. They have really, really great flavor. And they are easy, easy, easy to cut up. A lot of times I'll cut an onion and I don't need that whole big thing. And then you end up with like this whole like third or half or quarter of an onion that you don't even need and you have to throw it away. And it's almost like these are perfectly little sized onions. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a little bitty chop and get this in our dressing. Our salmon is sizzling. I can hear it. Gosh, it smells good in here. And I'm going to just take those biggest pieces and give them one more little hack down. And you know, you can just go back over this with your knife to get those pieces just a little bit smaller. And more, more than anything, this is just going to flavor that dressing. It's not, you're not going to want big bites of shallot. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, and here's another thing about a shallot. Let me just say this. I can hardly cut an onion to save my life because it makes me cry like a crazy person. And so shallots are not as strong. I'm only going to do about a half of that shallot. It was big. I'm going to scoot it over. And so you can, if you're sensitive to onion, you can actually use a shallot instead. So I've added these shallots that I've chopped. And then I'm going to just whisk in the last little bit. We're going to just whisk, whisk, whisk on our dressing. This is just a light tasting olive oil. We're adding it to the shallots and the honey and the apple jelly and the ginger and a little salt. Mm, I'm making a really delicious homemade apple ginger vinaigrette. This is the one that I actually serve to people and then I get texts later them saying, I can't quit thinking about the dressing, will you tell me how to do it? And then we actually have our salmon. It is ready to come out of the oven. It's been in there for, I just dropped that just a minute. Me and my oven mitts, what is it with my oven mitts? Okay, so we are taking our salmon out of the oven and setting that there. Oh, they're pretty. They smell good. Oh my goodness, that rub is so good. We're just going to dress our salad really quickly. What we've got here is a, an Asian pear that I've just sliced into little thin pieces. Crumbled gorgonzola cheese. You could use goat or blue if you would rather. Just love the flavor of this. You can do as much or as little as you would like. And then we're just gonna drizzle that delicious pear or this apple jelly dressing right over it. And then toss it and serve it with our salmon on the side. Mmm, shallots, that is beautiful. Okay, and when we come back, we'll plate it, our salmon and our beautiful salad. This is cooking today. We've taken our salmon out of the oven. We've got this beautiful pear and gorgonzola salad with a homemade apple ginger vinaigrette. And I am actually just going to toss this. Oh, I just think that is so pretty. And it smells good. I really love this sweet salad next to this salmon that's a little bit spicy with the cumin and the red pepper flakes. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. If you all weren't looking right now, I'd just pick a big piece of that out and eat it with my fingers, but I'll wait and act like I'm a professional. Okay. So we've got this salmon. Let me get us a plate. Okay, so we've got this white plate and then my skillet is really hot. So I'm going to bring that over here. One of the things I love too about this salmon, y'all, is that even at room temperature tomorrow, you can actually refrigerate this and just flake it and eat it on a salad. 
or again, like you could put it on a pasta or just eat it in your lunch when you have to go to work the next day. Just put in a little Tupperware and take it with you. It is really, really good room temperature and cold as well. All righty, so let's make it pretty. Now what we like to do is put our salmon on top of our salad instead of right beside. It is just a prettier plate and we love those bites all mixed in together. Oh, look at that. And I'm crazy about these Korean pears. They're kind of like apples and pears combined. Look how pretty that is. Got enough for another plate. And then let's take, I always pick the prettiest one. Let's take this beautiful piece. Slide it right off on the top. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the color. Oh my word. I really love it. This is one of our absolute very, very favorite dishes to make. We love this dish on a school night after work. The flavors of this, you are not going to believe it. And the best part that just brings out all the rest is this little squirt of a fresh, fresh lemon right over the top of that salmon. Y'all, this is restaurant eating right here. That's restaurant food. Isn't that pretty? Really simple. Do you see how quickly we made that? Probably in under 20 minutes or so. And you can serve this for dinner parties and to your husband, your kids, your girlfriends, your mama, whatever you want to make. It is healthy and good for you. Piece of cake to make. Beautiful, delicious. You'll love every bite. I know it. This is Cooking Today. Groceries provided by Harps. Hometown Fresh. Kitchenware is provided by Una Mays.